Can I tell you something? There are some people who don't like you because other people like you. Some people are so jealous and envious that they do not like the favor you have on your life. They don't like that you have a good reputation in the eyes of other people. They don't like that you add value to other people's lives. They don't like that people gravitate to you. They don't like that you have something more to say other than just the fluff that you hear and see around you in the world today. See, when you add value, when you add something deeper to people's lives other than just the you know, physical, just the aesthetic, just the outside, when you help people to encourage them and you inspire them and you try to be a listening ear and a help for them, people who live on a more low, shallow level, they will not like that. Of course, that doesn't go to say that everybody that isn't a deep thinker will dislike you, but there are some people that want you to very much be at their level. And if you're not at their level, they don't like you. They don't like the fact that you decided to expand your vocabulary. <laughs> they don't like the fact that you decided to, you know, do something other than what everybody else is doing. They don't like the fact that you want to step outside the box to be better than what you were before. There are a lot of people who prefer you to be stuck and stagnant because they are stuck and stagnant. There are people who want you to only focus on childish things, gossiping things, negative things, as they say those energy vampires. Those people are very much real. They thrive off of negativity. You ever have a conversation with someone and the conversation was a little too upbeat so the person start getting bored. They suddenly was trying to find a way to get away from you. They wanted to walk off somewhere and say, oh, okay, well, you know what? I'll be back. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna do this. And you never hear from them again. It's because sometimes the light that you carry, that energy you carry, it's a little bit too positive for them. They need something a little messy. They need you to slip up and say something. They need you to slip up and do something that they can talk about. They need you to be a little bit messy so they can be a little entertained. But if you are too level-headed, especially as a woman, if you are a little bit too focused on, you know, being of help to other people, and no one is perfect, you know, we all miss the mark in some way. But there are some women, contrary to what people see in the world, there are a lot of women who are very much about being feminine, wise women. There are women out here who are doing amazing things, who are living lives as stressless as possible. But when you are around people or you come across people who are accustomed to the constant drama, the constant bickering, the constant animosity and resentment, the constant arguing about nothing, the constant disdain toward other people for no reason, when you have people who are accustomed to that, and they come across someone who is unbothered, someone who can walk in a room as if nobody else is there when they are in amongst a many people, they will not like that. See, as I've said in previous videos, your level of unbothered will bother the bothered. The people who you might know that, you know, you go to a club or something, not that I do those things anymore, but you ever go to a party or an event and everybody else is dancing or they're talking, chatting, having a good time. And then you have that little group of people, those little group of miserable people who are sitting at the table or sitting off in the booth or sitting off on the couch, just looking at everybody else and then talking, you know, whispering and saying and doing little things. Those are the people who are the most miserable because of instead of enjoying the environment, enjoying the time that they have, they look at that as an opportunity to scrutinize and pick apart everybody else. And then undoubtedly, if the person is extremely messy, they will stir up something. They're going to do a little something to cause some kind of drama. Those kind of people, women who are more elevated in their mindset and their thinking, women who are not childlike, we have a light spirit, but our mindset is not childlike and petty, we cannot coexist with people like that. We cannot be in the presence of people like that for a long time. Because when you're in the presence of people who absolutely are miserable and they like to spread their misery around, that will undoubtedly, if you allow it, 
dim your light and cause you to have that heavy negative energy. You'll be trying to figure out why do I feel like this? Like, I'm not like this. Why am I feeling so heavy? Why am I feeling so blah? It's because you're in the room with people who are negative and don't understand peace. They don't understand positivity. They don't understand what it means to be in healthy communication, healthy socialization with people. All they know is drama, messiness, and just a lot of rah-rah. And when you are a woman who, once again, you make an impact, you are a woman that people want to be around, your favor with other people will irritate them. And when people see that you have too much favor in the other eyes of people, that people, that everybody doesn't feel the way that they feel about you, people like that can be dangerous because they will go on oftentimes to try to spread little rumors about you, say little things about you, try to get other people to see you in a negative light, try to get other people to see you the way they see you. And when more people, and I have to tell you this just so you can stay encouraged, when more people are for you than against you, you need to see that as something that is wrong with them and not you. You see, as people in general, but especially as women, because we tend to be a little bit more emotional, we can tend to personalize everything that people say and do against us. Little comments, little remarks, the way people act. We tend to personalize that if we're not careful. But when you understand that the way they may be treating you may have less to do with you and more to do with them, you begin to understand that being treated that way or being looked at in a certain light by certain people is actually a blessing for you. It's actually a sign to you that you are doing the right thing, that you are operating in the right way. I have always believed that if everybody likes you, that means you stand for absolutely nothing. If everybody is always talking about how this you are and how that you are, that means you just kind of shift in neutral. You go whichever way the wind blows. But if somebody is saying something negative towards you for a good thing, because you are being a woman that is kind, being nice to other people, you're being helpful, you know, you're a genuinely decent woman who tries her best to be kind to everybody you come in contact with because you are for peace you don't like a lot of drama and issues if people dislike you because of that I say that you are winning and there is no reason why you should even try to change up who you are to get miserable people to like you if people dislike you because of the light that you carry and the favor that you have over your life, that is a wonderful reason to be disliked. So as women, you have to make sure that you do not allow the negativity of miserable people to cause you to shrink back and dim your light. As a woman, as a elevated woman, as a feminine woman, and if you are a woman of faith, you have to understand that everybody is not going to understand how you move. Everybody is not going to understand why you're not bothered by the things they're bothered by. When you're silent, when somebody is attacking you, phys not physically, but mentally, verbally, you know, they're saying little things about you or you're hearing things and you just don't care and you keep going forward anyway, sometimes that agitates them more than anything else. And for me, I say, as long as they are never bold enough to come to you directly, which most of the time, when people don't like you for some reason or they have disdain towards you, they're never bold enough to really say anything to you. It's just an energy that you feel. It's just a spirit of confusion that you feel. And as a woman, you have to be able to feel that and understand that it has more to do with them than what it has to do with you. So when you are disliked because other people like you, you are winning, you have favor over your life and don't allow their negativity to stop you from doing and being who you were called to be. All right. Like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. And if you watch this video until the very end, Put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.